Extend it. Barbara wraps it around. Garagi moves up. The screen plays. They oh, pull out the yes! The demolition! Yes! It's a three-goal game! They baited them so hard for this. The play had been so fast-paced. He just stopped. Marky and Greasy missing that. And Cooks are getting demolished. All of flip five removed off the pitch. NRG, three to zero. So the big pit. Oh! Okay, that was kind of tough guard. But the big the big problem when you have an aggressive team is they need boost to get up and make plays. Oh, Mystic oh, double tap! What a shot. What a shot from Mystic. There's the Devo he was looking for, a previous teammate of that man, but going up and using the box side of that card. Instead, he flips it around again using the wheels to make sure he can play that even sharper angle in game four, all tied up as we were across halftime. Northern Gaming wants to try and put this next one in. This is so close for them. They have a control. Oh, Turbo! Oh, the whole team doesn't matter, does it himself, and he's got the lead. Turbo coming in, showing he's not just a sub, he's an amazing player. What a dribble oh. from him, taking everyone from the Nile out. He must be shining right now. Oh my goodness. Be able to move that one back down to midfield. Lathamir will wait up for a touch from Sat Jr. Gets the touch on target. Incredible play from Denial as they set themselves two goals into the lead. Fantastic one two from Sat and Leth. It looked like Timmy was waiting for that first one. He did not expect that second touch from Lethemir. Just too much power on it as it sneaks into the goal. Follows it up with a couple flips. No boost though. And Fairy Peak will be able to clear that one away from him. Sizz waiting patiently. Puts one on the goal post. Barnowski. And there it is. Sizz with the first one. What a shot from Sizz. Reading this perfectly off the Fairy Peak. He gets caught off. Doesn't get the boost grab. And because of that, he's able to take that angle. But no one expected that shot. Jose set this pace off right. They say that early demo means nothing to us. And Mockett looking to answer one goal now. Sizz looking to grab a second one. Sizz is on fire. He's ready to go. Two goals in the first minute of game play. I can literally feel the sizzle from here. This guy with these shots. Two defenders. No one's going to stop him on that one. A beautiful place that into the middle. Back into the Mockett day. Esports now finding these passes more and more. Pretty much adapting to Alpha City style by playing Alpha what? City style. Kate off! How do you adapt to that? You Kanoff, don't. Kanoff coming up the wall, a beautiful touch to hug the wall. He spins into it to make sure he lands back on it, and then a double tap off that wall to play it back. And plays past Fireburner, baiting them out. Garrett G, solid on the ground, will play this one away from Marky Duda, but it stays in the blue corner. And now this loft back, Fireburner's got to play smart here. They're going to drop this one down, Pokeser puts it in. Flip sides up with 26 seconds left. The pass from Marky Duda. Look at him, instead of retreating, he goes all the way up for this Fireburner. He saw him last second, tried to slow it down, but the touch went just behind him. Flip side tactics. 26 seconds left. Will they stay alive? When he plays drop shot, he's fantastic. He's spot on. And he's just got to imagine that this is a drop shot game right now. And that's what he did. Grabbing goal number one. An air dribble almost finishing it off. The tie up there as Pluto secures that goal. Fantastic positioning from Timmy. Feathering his boost, making sure roughly about 20 Ooh. as he gets to it. And then uses the rest of it to make sure he wins that 50-50. Right. Otherwise, we're going to end up hitting an overtime. Matt and Sis have to be very careful right now. They have Kate off, Fairy Peak, and Mystic on their tail. A oh, shot oh my goodness. on the goal line. Oh. We're going to overtime. Oh my goodness. You're talking about inches down. As he uses that second jump to get over Turtle. Another one. Fairy Peak showing how dangerous he is in Kate solo up. play. A shot on that. As it comes off the corner, Fairy Peak runs that one down the field by himself. And the defenders for row can't keep it out. And that's going to be a 2-0 lead in the bracket, or the series now, for Mockett Esports, setting themselves at match point. A lot of it had to do with that individual play from Fairy Peak. Missed the shot. And now here comes NRG on the offense. Can they bounce back? A win here would keep them on in the upper bracket, but flip side is on fire right now. 2-0 for the European champions. Is this the turnaround for flip side tactics? Cooks here to Greasy. Well timed, well placed, perfectly under the crossbar. It seems that Greasy has found the accuracy that he mid, likes. Matt missing a shot up high. This is where Kidop does extremely well. Puts a shot on net. Saved again by Sizz. Missing up for a shot though, that's gonna be off the bar. Matt just giving that one out, reading that bar down. Touch. Pressure onto the backboard. 
go clear away once more. Gergi on the wall, can't even double tap it down. Oh! It goes in! It took three bounces, but NRG's got the lead back. You can watch Remco see it happening and have to change his mind. Like, oh no, don't do it. <laughs> He saw Garrett following through. He didn't think he had to. Right, make sure they keep that ball away with any other touches from Selfless. Doing a good job thus far. But Selfless doesn't seem to be able to find each other. And Lathomir going to grab another one. 2-0 lead for Denial Esports. Good patience as well from Lathomir. He wins a 50-50 against two oncoming Selfless players. And then just feathers his boost to make sure he lands on that perfectly to get some power and places that. Watch save as he flies across the goal line. They're going to keep themselves in this game. Two minutes left now. And we see a shot the map from above. 3-1 now. The pass play, that's what's so scary about this road team. The duos are for everybody on the team. It does not matter who matches up as long as their teammate is there. The trust for this team coming full circle. That one over to the left, who's in the corner. He misses that one on his way out. Maybe out of boost as well. He'll have to get that in zone. And corrupted G off the crossbar from the flank side. It's going to grab the win, and they're going to take game number one. Talked about needing to get both these guys involved. Sad Jr. moving up the pitch and getting that 50-50 right out into the middle. And then Corrupted G, their lead score up high, putting that first one in. As you said, Denial taking the first one. Very slow pace in this game. Right now in the orange half, 1.43 left to go. Still 2-0 in favor of NRG. Flipside also trying to give themselves targets. The best to oh, 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 it just comes in! Jacob up as a threat, zoning out the defenders. 3-0 NRG. I don't know if Jacob going up for this is what messed with this save, but both Marky and Greasy unable to make connections. I believe Greasy probably suspects. As they try to put some pressure on Sizz. Forced to make a touch. We'll see if he can recuperate. He does. Doesn't attack it though. Very people will take control by himself. You don't want to be in a 1v1 situation. Two people in net. It doesn't matter. We're tied up. That did not take long, and it's so scary about both these teams. The ability to turn it on at any moment. You see Fairy Pick with a beautiful flick. The ability to commitment. It's what Denial has to do to keep themselves alive here in game two. Devo in the air to try and drop it through. Oh! Oh! It go. It's oh my God! What a read to know where the defenders would be. Northern Gaming ties the series. Just watch how Devo follows through with this. He gets the first touch and knows to keep his wheels on it to try and stuff out that clear. Turbo Pulsa reading his teammate. 30 seconds into overtime, four goals to three. Northern Gaming tie up the, the series. The Frenchmen covering each other on the back, just making sure that if a mistake does happen, there's someone else there to follow up. What was that Woo! touch? Almost sneaking that in. So many shots technically from Turtle. And that's just going to be an easy turnaround for Kadop as they tie this one up. An overcommit there from Rogue will result in a tie game. That ball was partially in the goal, highlighted as so, but as you stated, too many trying to commit to that. Allows for an easy push down by Kadop. As he tries to get a touch out to a teammate, Turtle a little bit too far back. Kadop going to take ground control. That passing blaze from Mocket Esports and Fairy Peak going to sink one into the far side. So dangerous when you give this Mocket team space. You see Kadop seeing the available options as one of the players on this rogue team rotates back into net. Gives them all the time in the world. Break up that play. Ian Remco in the corner here. Jacob will just move in. A bit of confusion on the defense. The demo will help it out. And oh! Gary G puts it in. NRG's up again. And that's enough pressure for them to be able to score this. Fireburner trying to just keep in the corner, forcing Devo for that first touch. And then Jacob just follows through. He's like, I don't have the ball. I've got you instead. Takes out one of the two goalies. Yep, there were actually two people in. And he's just going to fake them out. What is this play? Flip side on the course. They're going to try and send us to game five. I don't want to say reverse sweep yet, Carpet, but my goodness, it's starting to look like it. I'm not going to call anything for good reasons, but Greasy <laughs> might start slowing Turn that around. down. He has been challenged. Express over to Bagger, who can control. Mont Connor is available as well, but Snasky with the early challenge. Snasky pushes it over to the side. He's found Sicky as well. And these cutting passes for both teams are proving really, really useful. And this is when giving space is going to show that it's really dangerous. Monty Connor tried to come into net, but a second too late. It gave a lot of room for that passing play in the middle. NRG will now look to respond. Jacob zoning out both Cookser and Marky Duda. Can Gary G get it in? He does. Look at this play. Gary G interrupts everything, and or Jacob interrupts everything, and Garrett makes the shot. Jacob going for Cookser, then Marky. Marky has to do a weak jump and then backflips in a panic, trying to make sure he can He's get. Like Cookser whiffing in net. And then he comes back and scores twice. 10 seconds left, still the one goal lead for NRG. They're going to try and make it two here. Firebird oh, goes oh, 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 oh. Look at this craziness, five to three here. Eight goals in game two. The moment they start to feel good about themselves, Fireburner manages to push it through both Cooks here and Marky Duda. Oh, wow. This
pretty much probably seals their victory. But again, against Flipside, <laughs> they're the last team I want to call until it's zero. Any team, like you said, another big high clear, able to control it and put it back down. But his team completely falls away as a pass comes up to Fairy Peak a shot, and he gets the first goal of the day too. And that is huge for Mock at Esports, a team that has struggled for confidence getting that first goal, and it's a beautiful pass over to Fairy Peak as well. Tucks that one in nice and high into the goal. As that miss from Drepe is going to cause more time to be wasted away for his team. Moki just have to hold on, but Drepe with the shot on target. Saved by Fairy Peak. So pulling out Montepano, but Express can go for a follow-up shot, and there's Bango. Lovely passing play by Jam Gaming. There's the passing plays we can see now. Pulling Sticky out now. This time, Sticky seemed the impatient one. He didn't know where to go. He was in, out, in, out. Didn't know if he should turn around or not. He gave a lot of space for Jam Gaming. Kate up with the shot, bounces off the sidewall. There will be no follow up by Mocket. They understand that they are comfortably in the lead and do not need to push their luck. There comes Mystic. Double tap from Mystic. He what? makes it look so easy. What did he do between regionals and today? He is absolutely on fire. There was something about their scrims. It's like they wanted to get out all the bad, like, voodoo that they had going on. Like, something about their scrims.